Hello and welcome to this knowledge base presentation on installing and licensing IIR products. My name is Mike Pataki and I've specialized in the Informatica Identity Resolution products for over 12 years. First, we need to be clear as to what products we're discussing. IIR, as I've already indicated, is an acronym for Informatica Identity Resolution and it's both the name of a product and also the name of a family of identity resolution products. The products that this presentation applies to are SSA Name 3, which is the core product used within all the others and also the oldest of the products. IIR, which as I said stands for Informatica Identity Resolution. This product was formerly known as ISS and also before that as IDS, a data clustering engine and MDM registry edition which is the latest of the products. To get the installation media for any of the IAR products you should raise a shipping request on the customer portal at mysupport.informatica.com. There's a pane on the right of the screen which is labelled service requests and below that is enter online support. When you click that you find that there's a button that shows you you can raise a shipping request. Create shipping SR and you just complete the details there and the you'll receive an email with a link to the download site and a username and password. That will deliver a zip file or possibly a .tar file which you should unpack in the normal way into a directory. Note that the license that you'll need is not sent with the software but is requested as part of the install process. It's a two-stage process. Once you've installed the licensing, uh, the license server, which is the first part of the installation, and returned the license details file to shipping, they will send you a license file named with a .key extension. That will enable all the products that you've purchased or whichever you've actually requested feel free to include an explanation in the SR of exactly which products you want to use with that request and also the names of any special customized population files which have been produced for you so that those names can also be included in the license file. Next I'll demonstrate a typical installation using the interactive installer but please note that you must have Java already installed in order for the interactive installer to run. You may find it useful to download the IIR installation guide from the customer portal. You can find that under the product documents tab by selecting the product family uh, master data management and the product name identity resolution or MDM registry edition. Make sure you select the latest version. When you've unpacked the download file, you'll see a directory, directory almost exactly like this. You can see actually I've just added uh, another file in there, the Java executable, a copy of it. But if you follow the instructions in the manual, even that shouldn't be necessary. Now if I double click the install.exe file, this is on Windows obviously, you'll see that it starts up the installer. There are three options there, three buttons, and you should click each of them in turn. First we'll install the license server. So just click Next and it prompts you for the directory name that you want to install into. If this is on Unix then it will obviously prompt you with a Unix style names. You should enter Unix style names in there. I'm going to just enter a temporary directory and click Next. 
it prompts you for where you want the license server installed or where you want it to run on the local host and the port number that you want it to listen on. The default port number is shown there and you can either accept that or choose another one if that's uh, not in line with your existing uh, installation. When you click Next it summarizes what it's going to do and when you click Install it will now go through and extract the necessary files. If you click Yes to start the server installation uh, and actually run it you'll see that it pops up at the bottom on the taskbar as a running program. So it says that it started successfully and you can now as it says here click finish to return to the main menu. Now the next step is to generate the license information file. Just click through and next the directory where it's going to create this file you'll notice that it's in the licenses directory underneath where you just installed the software. When you click Next it summarizes what it's going to do and you click Create to actually create that file. It summarizes on the screen what you need to do next which is to send it to shipping for them to send you to return a .key file. The file that it generates is fairly straightforward as just a text file something like let me just show you that something like that with the NetBIOS name and various other information. It's a text file but you shouldn't try to edit it if you do you'll get an error because there's a checksum at the end to make sure that it's protected. What shipping will return to you is a key file which has the same information plus an expiry date and also details of which products you're actually entitled to use. So if I just actually copy the uh, correct license file into, you'll notice there's now an IAR temp and a licenses directory If I just copy the key file that I've been sent into there, now I can continue with the installation by clicking on Finish and selecting the last step. Now I click Next and it asks me where the license server is running. I click the directory where the products, the rest of the products, should be installed and it now prompts me for which products I actually want to install. Only the ones that you're licensed for will be shown there. I'm just going to install uh, one population and SSA name 3. But whichever products you select the following dialogue will vary. In particular you'll be prompted to uh, specify which of the uh, ports you want to use. For example here for the name 3 server it says what the host name is and suggests the default port of 1665. In the case of DCE and IAR there will be a slightly longer dialogue where it prompts you for the port numbers and host names for each of the servers involved. When you click Next it summarizes what it's going to do and when you click Install it actually installs those products. Now in the case of SSA name 3 that's really all you need to do. I would suggest that you just use the workbench to make sure that the product is actually working and installed correctly. But for IAR and DCE and MDM registry edition you should look in the installation manual, the installer guide uh, which uh, should be installed in the docs directory or you can get it from my support and follow the post installation steps which involve for example running scripts to create the various uh, metadata tables that are needed by IAR and DCE. So when I click finish it returns to there and I can now click exit to actually exit.
the installer. The product is now installed. So just to summarize, the software is delivered by a shipping request. The software includes all the products, but the license controls which are actually installed. You've seen the three-stage installation process to install the license server and start it, create the license details file and send it to shipping, install the returned.key file and then continue or resume the installation process. Just note that there must be only one .key file in the licenses directory. There is a command line interface if you want to do the install as a batch process and the key file is normally time limited. Those key and machine details files are ASCII files but not editable. As we say, we'd love to hear from you if you've got any comments on this presentation or any of our products. Thank you for listening.